This is an Atlantic horseshoe crab, which can be found along the American Atlantic coast and in the Gulf of Mexico. Despite its name, it is in fact related to spiders. It uses book gills to take up oxygen from the environment. This animal's blood is called hemolymph and contains hemocyanin as an oxygen carrier. We're following a dioxygen or O2 molecule towards the active site where it is about to be bound by two copper ions. Now, let's take a look at our own oxygen carrier, hemoglobin. Oxygen is reversibly bound by iron ions. Hemoglobin consists of four subunits and turns from dark to bright red upon oxygenation. Each red blood cell carries as many as 300 million copies of hemoglobin. Hemocyanin, however, uses copper ions to reversibly bind oxygen. In horseshoe crabs, it consists of 48 subunits and changes from translucent to blue upon oxygenation. Unlike hemoglobin, there is no cellular carrier. Hemocyanin allows the horseshoe crab to live in environments where oxygen concentrations are fairly low. Let's explore the structure of hemocyanin further, starting with a single subunit. Six subunits make up the basic building block, the hexama. Many hemocyanin variants are known, ranging in size from single hexamas up to eight hexamas with horseshoe crab hemocyanin, resulting in a total of 48 active sites. Hemocyanin, oxygenation happens much faster as more subunits bind oxygen. This effect is called subunit cooperativity. Finally, the hemolymph turns blue as hemocyanin is saturated with oxygen. This concludes our quick peek into the oxygen carrier of the horseshoe crab, hemocyanin. Thanks for watching. Thank you.